Well, let's talk to Steve Dagworthy, a former prisoner, now senior consultant at Prison Consultants. Always good to see you, Steve. Um, this on the surface is very disturbing. If, there's, if there is a system in place, a rehabilitation system, mm. which is found to be completely flawed... Well, yes. I mean, in, in the case of War Boys, um, the, the sex offender treatment programme that was employed um, for, for sex offenders within prison has been proven, actually, to, to be um, not effective to the point it's actually increased criminal activity. And I think the reason for that is because you get a, a collection of people in a group therapy session probably individually thinking that they have a problem, but actually when they get into the therapy session and start mixing with other people who have the same needs, wants, desires, um, they realise that actually perhaps they're quite normal. Mm. Uh, and even worse, they're creating a few more contacts, perhaps, for, 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 when, they're, for when they are released. But... <clears throat> so if, if part of the problem is, is, the, is the group sessions, mm. as you need, so you're saying what you need more one-to-one, -one, which yeah. presumably costs a lot more money. Yeah, well... It's, it's cost effective, um, yes, you need one-to-one, -one, especially in offences such as this where there's extreme violence or whatever, sex offence in, mm. in, in, in process. Um, yes, you need to go, I think, a bit more deeply psychologically into, into the causes and the needs and to the, and to the whys and the wherefores of why this person should offend. But the cost, if you, if you think about the cost of all of this, um, the cost of keeping someone in prison is somewhere in the region of 30 to 40,000 pounds. The cost to society for reoffending in general, in the wider picture, is 15 billion pounds a year, so they say. Um, so it, it, it has to be cost effective to have a one to one intervention and, and get to the deep root of the psychological problem. But, the, but the, I mean, that again focuses on the fact that the, the, even to get to that point, we're talking more resources. At to begin with, at least. Well, I, look, Do you I, think? I, I, my theory is quite simple, that prison simply doesn't work. You know, we have to have a rethink on prison. And I think there are the resources within the prison system, whereas we can think of other ways in which to punish people. Perhaps start releasing people who are safe to be released back into the community. Therefore, the, the resources that we have within the prison system are employed to help those who need the rehabilitative process. There are too many people in prison at the moment, to be, f to be frank, yeah. who, don't, who don't need the rehabilitative process. But, but, it, but in, as far as that system goes, I mean, certainly in the John Warboys case, mm. the parole board have turned around and after whatever, whatever examinations they've carried yeah. out said, actually, this is a man who is safe to be released. Well, we have to have faith in the parole system and it's, it's, it's the system that we have. I mean, after eight or nine years that he's served in prison, he's, he's gone above his uh, minimum recommended tariff. Um, the, the parole board, through all of their uh, reports and mechanisms that they have to hand, have decided that this guy is safe to be in the community, but I'm sure under a, an enormous amount of strict licence conditions, and make no mistake, if he breaches one of those conditions, he'll be straight back to prison. But as someone who's been through the system, yeah. do you think, actually, the, the decisions like this, especially when it's such a controversial um, person with such a, you know, a, a, a litany of crimes behind him. Mm. Um, should those decisions be made public? Should we understand what the process the parole board has been through actually is? Well, we're talking about data protection now, aren't we? So um, I think we have to possibly have faith in the system that we have or perhaps change the system. Mm. But whether we can, whether we can allow the public to um, intervene in the minutiae of the, of, of the case uh, perhaps is possibly not a good idea because then you're going to have you know, factions across the country um, basically deciding who, who cannot be released yeah. from prison, which I, I guess will not work. OK. Steve, really good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Your thoughts on that, of course, always welcome.